Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Dr. Omar Daher. I'm a radiology resident. Some of you may know me as Daher Radiology on Instagram. And on today's video, we're going to be talking about the pros and cons of radiology as a specialty in medicine. So let's get started. All right, so today's video was inspired by a question I got on Instagram about what are the pros and cons of radiology. Let's start off by talking about the pros. So pro number one is the very flexible work environment. So in radiology, you're kind of in a unique and work environment, whereas you have your own office, you got your own computer and your own workstation. Other physicians in the hospital kind of go back and forth between the ward, between the surgery, uh, operating rooms, uh, surgical procedures, uh, clinics that are outside of the hospital. But in radiology, you have your own workstation and you're kind of doing your own workflow. So what I mean by a flexible working environment is that you're kind of in the comfort of your own office. So when you're doing your scans on a day-to-day -day basis, you're actually going on your computer, you're logging into your uh, hospital ID, and you have a list of examinations or studies that you need to read. And the limiting factor is really you, and the fact that you are the one going to be reading those studies, and it's how fast and how quick you can get through them, which dictates the rest of your day. So in terms of uh, work environment, you know, you can have your coffee right beside you, you can have your meals, um, you know, without anyone really asking too many questions because you're at your own desk. What's also cool about this is that you can kind of control the environment around you. You can close the door if you don't want to have anyone interrupt you and, and uh, constantly have noise outside of, uh, you know, your workstation and close the door to your office and you don't really have to worry about any outside environment. What's also cool about this is that if you are, you know, a person who likes to listen to music or you know, some kind of show in the background or sports in the background, you can actually do this while working and it sets an environment that's kind of comfortable for you as if you were working in the comfort of your own home. Uh, that being said, of course, you're going to have interruptions throughout the day because there are going to be other consultants and physicians who will come and ask you questions. Ask uh, The techs are going to be asking you about protocoling different studies and they're going to interrupt your workflow in that sense, but it does feel a bit more at home when you're in your own environment and you can kind of control those things. Another cool aspect of that is that you can have a standing desk, for example. So everyone thinks that radiologists are sitting all the day but that's actually not always true. Um, so a lot of technological advances have happened such that we now have like standing desks where you can put it upwards and you can do your work while standing. Um, a lot of this is really helpful, especially if someone who's uh, conscious about their health um, are able to actually do um, uh, work while even on a treadmill, on an activity bike, etc., etc. So uh, that's kind of a cool component to the work. The second pro about uh, being in radiology is that the work is very interesting. So when you think about medicine in a whole, there are very interesting aspects of medicine, um, but there are also parts of medicine that are feeling very grunt work-like or very repetitive. But in radiology, you're very uh, uh, kind of selected into looking at what's interesting within medicine itself. And the reason why I say that is because a lot of the times when a scan is done on a patient, it's because the clinician doesn't really know what's going on or needs to confirm what they think is going on. So you're going to have some kind of interesting pathology to begin with. Um, the work with radiology itself is very broad. So you can have anything from obstetrics all the way to a surgical complication and anything in between. So your day is kind of mixed up in that sense where you'll have a broad range of different pathologies that you get to see. Very interesting work from detail-oriented stuff to very common stuff like when people come into the emergency department and they have um, a bowel obstruction or they have appendicitis 
Uh, these are common things that we see on call every day. They're pretty cool uh, findings in pathology, but it's also something that uh, we get to see a lot of. Um, and that ranges all the way up to rare cancers and malignancies um, that you really play a, a dominant role in helping the patient with uh, their prognosis. The third pro about wanting to do radiology would be that uh, radiologists are definitely in demand, especially at the time of this video. Um, all of the statistics show that there is a shortage of radiologists. That probably has to do with a multitude of factors, um, but we'll get into that a little bit later. At this point, basically what this means is that there's going to be a huge shortage of radiologists in the future, which means that there's gonna be a lot more job openings. So this fluctuates obviously with every role in medicine um, throughout the years, depending on its interests and what's needed at the time. Um, but at this current point in time, radiology is definitely something that's needed and it's going to just get better with time. Um, so that being said, it's a, a good field to get into because it's very technologically advanced and there's always movements that are going towards new and technological advancements that are uh, making the field of uh, radiology more and more applicable to clinical medicine. In radiology you have a whole slew of different personalities and I know that when I was in medical school they used to say that if you're this type of personality you were probably going to be this specialty. Well I think that may be true for some of the other specialties but within radiology I think the range of personalities is very broad and that's something that I really like because I myself am more of a social person and everyone seems to think that radiologists are not. So I would like to say that a pro of radiology is that it doesn't matter what your personality is, I think that it caters towards a long and uh, you know broad aspect of different personalities such that if you're introvert um, it does apply to those type of people because the, there's minimal interactions with others. Whereas if you're a leader and, and you, you feel that you are socially active, then it does also apply to that as well because there is quite a bit of opportunity for you to have procedures with patients, discussions with multidisciplinary um, medicine boards, uh, discussions with other physicians, staff, technologists, etc. So given that vast variety, it does fit a huge broad range of personality type. Another pro for radiology is that you're the doctor's doctor. So what does that mean? In medicine, right, when you go see the doctor, you're the patient and you see the doctor and they try and figure out what's going on. A lot of the times they'll need investigations to help figure out what's going on. So when the doctor's kind of stumped or needs further advice, then they kind of come to us. And in radiology, you are the doctor's doctor. Whereas you're a consultant, you're someone who is advising another physician on um, what kind of uh, imaging they need and what those imaging, what that imaging uh, tells them. So in that sense, you're kind of uh, always dealing with a medical profession uh, in a way that you're helping out another physician. Now that obviously uh, means that you're not helping the patient directly and you're not recognized for that reason, but we'll talk a little bit more about that later. Being the doctor's doctor allows you to kind of be a very advanced medical specialist because you need to know about all the different types of specialties and talk the language that that specialty speaks. So being a doctor's doctor is kind of a cool um, but a very high responsibility type of role. Um, but it can be quite rewarding in that sense. And while there are many other pros uh, to being a radiologist, I'll, I'll end with this one. Uh, there are many different technological advancements in radiology. Um, you know, only 50 or so years ago, we were doing uh, very basic minimal investigations with radiology and now we've come a long way with CT, MR, um, even PET, and uh, furthermore, crossing those, um, those modalities together. Uh, it's, it's helped advance the field of medicine as a whole quite a bit. Um, and it's only going to improve it further. So if you're someone who's tech savvy and enjoys being um, you know, at the forefront of technology, then radiology is a great specialty for you. Of course, with every pro to a subject, there's going to be cons to the subject as well. So now we're gonna talk about some of the cons that are in radiology 
from my perspective. So as a radiologist, you work behind the scenes and I kind of alluded to this earlier in the video, but you are someone who is working not in front of the patient or not dealing directly with the patient, but you're dealing with the other consultants. And what that means is that the recognition, for example, of you know, curing the patient or helping the patient with whatever disease process they're, they're experiencing doesn't directly get translated to what you've done. Um, as a physician, that um, may be something you want from uh, the reward of helping another person. Uh, you might want acknowledgement for that reason and in radiology you don't tend to get that kind of acknowledgement. Now that doesn't mean that's a bad thing, I personally don't mind that, but there may be people out there that want that acknowledgement which is quite reasonable, but I would label it as a con if you are that kind of person. The second con in radiology is that work can be a little bit repetitive at times. Now, this is actually a common con for almost all of medicine. You're always gonna have your bread and butter things in medicine that are kind of grunt work, um, that you know not everyone enjoys doing on a day-to-day -day basis. But what my decision was when I'm going into radiology was that my grunt work in radiology was actually much more enjoyable than the grunt work of other specialties. So while everything can be repetitive, especially in medicine, I thought that radiology's repetitiveness was actually quite enjoyable. Another con for radiology is this idea of artificial intelligence. Now, this is a huge subject and I'll probably make another video about it at another point in time, but artificial intelligence is this overwhelming, overlying theme that everyone seems to think will take over the role of radiology. I'm not going to get into it too much, but I think there's a lot of resources out there that, that artificial intelligence is not going to take over radiology. It is a field of medicine that is fueled by technology and any advances in technology are only going to help um, with uh, radiologists uh, do their, doing their daily job and being better advocates for their patients. Um, more to come on this on another video. Finally, the last aspect of uh, radiology that might be a con is the stress level and the increasing call frequency. So before radiology used to be what is known as a lifestyle radi um, specialty. Um, I think many people know the Rhodes acronym um, and I think that that is less and less true for radiology these days because the volume of scans are going up and the demand for being on call is also going up. So normal amounts of CTs and requests overnight have gone up significantly in the last 20 to 30 years, such that um, radiologists are now working almost throughout their entire call shift um, in the wee hours of the night. Now that may or may not be something you are interested in. I think that a lot of medicine has this aspect. Um, unfortunately, it is becoming more and more of a demand um, to being able to read a scan quicker and quicker. However, uh, this stress level um, is something that not everyone can handle. So if I were you and I were looking into radiology, uh, I would definitely do some research and maybe do some electives in uh, radiology to get a feel of what call is like and if it's something that uh, you'd be okay with doing for the rest of your life. That being said, there are many situations and especially in the work environment that we have today where uh, many groups don't do call anymore and only do their daily activities and that works for a lot of people and then it takes away the stress of being on call. Thanks for sticking around for this video guys, I hope you enjoyed it. We talked about the pros and cons about being a radiologist. Uh, thanks so much for everyone who asked those questions on Instagram, it gave me some good ideas for future videos. If you have any future ideas, DM me on Instagram or leave a comment below. And don't forget to like and subscribe so that I can keep doing this and make it more educational for everyone. Thanks guys, see you later.